Hi, this is Kelly from Crafty Kelly's at www.craftykelly.co.uk. Today I'm just uh, going to share with you a card I have made. I'm making a series of cards using the Daffodil Delight stamp set, which is a lovely new stamp set from the new catalogue. Um, we're going to be making this card today, but I thought I'd show you a couple others I've made, which I'm going to share with you over the next week or two. So these are lovely. I've used a, a, a gold embossing powder on these two to create this look. I've used the designer series paper. So share with you the designer series paper. Lovely paper. It comes in double-sided paper. You get two sheets of each, and they are 12 by 12 size. I'll just quickly flip through these because they're just so beautiful. So many ideas. So, you can create whatever you like with them. I've used today this paper. This card's fairly simple to make and all you're going to need is this is the centimetre thick uh, whisper white ribbon. I have a piece of the design series paper, you can have a choice of whatever you want. And this is 14.2 by I think it's 10 centimeters. Yeah, I've got a standard card base scored down the middle, and then have these two other panels which are seven centimeters by seven centimeters I think this is six and a half yeah uh, this one I've used the stitch framelit for um, on it so we can layer it up like so uh, the color I've used here I think is the mint macaroon which is retired but pool party um, would work just as well if you have pool party. So let's get started. I'm going to pop these bits over to one side and just quickly show you the stamp set I'm using. So this is the Daffodil Delight. It comes with these lovely um, different flowers and a couple of nice sentiments as well. Um, there is a matching punch that comes with this set but it has been sold out but I've heard it has just come back in so you can buy that as a bundle which is really good um, I've used a happy birthday stamp for this card um, which I used from the best birds but you can use any happy birthday stamp the colours I'm going to be stamping in are blushing bride uh, garden green and uh, basic black so not too many colours, not too many things. I'll just start with the stamping. So let me get a scrap piece of paper. And I'm going to start with the happy birthday sentiment, then I know how far up I can do my flowers. So do the inner part so this stamp is a layered stamp so there's two steps for this one so you've got like the more detail and then you've got the color so I'm gonna do my leaves or my petals first I'm gonna just bring them up a little bit higher this time one put that one down there two Now I'm going to go on to the stem. With my garden green. You could use um, old olive if you wanted. Um, entirely up to you. Whatever green 
you prefer. I just prefer the garden green because it's a more of a darker, deep green. blushing bride now you could pick any color you wanted out of this uh, paper with the flowers I just uh, I just went for this more pinky peachy color sorry if my head gets in the way And the stamping is done. Really quick and easy card to put together. So I'm just going to use a fast fuse. And Wanted, you could cut the uh, the backing card out in a scallop shape or well, once again in the stitched if you wanted to add that element to it you first and then we'll do our ribbon the ribbon what I did so I cut off a length popped a little bit of fast fuse I've just put a little bit of, you could use a glue dot, but something just to kind of hold it in place slightly. Decide where I'm going to pop it. Try and get it straight. There we go. I'm going to glue this. If you wanted, you can use Tombow. I just prefer using fast views or a snail. my bow and then added that off. Everybody's got their own way of tying their bows. I uh, make like a loop and then take it round and through. Try not to twist it all. And what I do is I like roll it with my fingers to try and tighten it so I don't I don't want to waste too much ribbon. And when I'm happy, give it a good tug. And pull back. Ooh. There we go. Sometimes it looks better on the other side. Cool. 
Now I've just done the corners or the ends at an angle. I'm going to stick a couple of glue dots on here. Got to find one now, there we go. So I'm going to stick one straight into the centre of the card. So I can try and get that central. And then I'm going to pop one on. Each bit of the bow. And I'm also going to put one on there and one on the other side. So I pop that down in the centre. Let me use my tool and I'm just going to put. Pop, Push this one down and then pull like the bow into position. I'll trim that one off a little bit. Ooh, sorry about that. And we're done. That didn't take too long. We got this beautiful card. Let me know what you think. Leave comments below. Like and share my video if you like it. Otherwise you can go to Crafty Kelly's at www.craftykelly.co.uk where I have a full list of all the products I've used. If you'd like to purchase them, don't forget I'm still giving 10% back to all my customers um, in the month of uh, June uh, 2017. Um, and that will be ending very soon. So get in and get some discount while you can. Thanks very much and have a great day. Bye.